Hello to you beautiful people. My name is Noah Lakshmi and I'm here to elevate humanity for a better world. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy that you found my channel here on the YouTubes. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. As always, I really appreciate the support and the ongoing support. So thank you for being here. And in this channel, I use astrology as a tool to help us navigate through the experience that we call life. Um, and there's so much more when it comes to astrology and how much it can help us individually on our own healing journey and uh, collectively in our collective evolution. So this is part of what I do in this channel. More to come in the future. I've been talking about this. Um, I'm going to start incorporating other videos other than just astrology, so stay tuned for that. Uh, lifestyle, healthy eating, yoga, meditation, breath, self-love, all the things that can really help us evolve individually and collectively, like I said, so stay tuned. All right, and um, every two weeks I post a video around the new moon or the full moon, and this time around we are looking at the new moon that is coming tomorrow on Tuesday, the 16th of January. Today is Monday, the 15th, and uh, I'm going to talk about the, the new moon and some other aspects that are going to that are going to occur right after the, the new moon this week and the following week. And what does it all mean? That's what is the most important thing, uh, especially if you don't know much about astrology, then we want to know what does it all mean? How does that, uh, how can we work with those energies? Nothing is happening to us. This is something I always like to say with astrology. It's not that the planets are doing something to us or influencing us. The planets, the cosmos are merely a reflection the outer world is a reflection of the inner world for us individually and collectively. And seeing the movements and understanding the movements of the cosmos can really help us to know on a deeper level what's happening within us, inside of us. And a lot of it is an unconscious or unconscious process. So we're bringing awareness, we're bringing consciousness into what seems to live underneath the surface and the more awareness that we have the deeper the understanding uh, the greater the wisdom that's what I believe and the more wisdom we have the more power we have the more power we have the more we can create and shape our lives in the way that we really intend to and that the way that we believe is right for us so New moon tomorrow on the 16th, and this, we've already had a pretty intense beginning to uh, 2018, which is showing us just how powerful and impactful 2018 is going to be and setting up the stage for the next five to seven years, which are extremely impactful, are uh, filled with power, with transformation, and big shifts that will occur on planet Earth, globally, and of course in our own individual lives because all that is inter intertwined. The new moon that is coming tomorrow is in the sign of Capricorn. It's happening at 6.17 p.m. Pacific time if you are in north, um, the northern part of America. and. Um, it's in the sign of Capricorn, 26 degrees of Capricorn, right at the end there, approaching the end of Cap, Capricorn, Capricorn. And we're already feeling a lot of the Capricorn energy, especially with the fact that Saturn has moved into Capricorn. It's going to be there for the next two and a half years. The Capricorn message is loud and clear. And what is Capricorn? What is Capricorn? What, is, what does it mean? What is it telling us? Capricorn is the mountain goat climbing up to the mountain. It has everything to do with setting up goals, things that we want to achieve, the mountains that we want to climb. I've been talking about that quite extensively. Another side to Capricorn though, 
which is important for me to express here, and that is the higher expression of Capricorn, because we can have goals and achievements and be very um, goal-oriented and very cold about how we approach our goals and achievements. And we can see that side of Capricorn. I'm just going to do whatever it takes to get whatever I want. And we see that in our society so much so. We associate Capricorn with, with masculine energy where actually Capricorn is a feminine sign. That is something that I, when I was, uh, I'm still studying astro astrology constantly, but when I started studying astrology and um, I learned about that, like, wait a second, Capricorn is actually a feminine sign. It's an earth sign. The earth signs and the water signs are related to the feminine energy. And it really made me wonder, like, huh, interesting how Capricorn can be interpreted and perceived as a very masculine side because of those um, characteristics that we attach to Capricorn goals and achievements and business and um, structures it feels very masculine and there is that side to Capricorn for sure but it's a feminine sign and um, here's my message with all of this and this is by the way nothing to do with gender regardless if you're a man or a woman we all have feminine and masculine at the same time and um, and so looking at Capricorn from a more feminine perspective well it is an earth sign so the more evolved way of doing Capricorn is actually building structures, is going after your goals, going after what it is that you want, accomplishing things in your life, having achievements, building structures, building foundations that is actually connected or doing it in a way that is not so linear, harsh, I'm just going to do whatever it takes. But to do all those things in a feminine way, and I believe that this is where we are heading towards, or at least what the universe is asking us to head towards, in order to create a better structure, in order to create a better structure for society, in order for the structures that we build to actually nurture us. And we're going to see more of that towards the end of 2018 when the nodes are going to shift to Cancer and Capricorn, where we will need to leave the, the harsh masculine approach behind and the harsh masculine structures behind in order to be more nurtured individually and globally. So this new moon in Capricorn, and you guys, we having... It's not just that the new moon is in Capricorn itself. Already, there's so many planets that are in Capricorn. Basically, all of our personal planets, except for Mars, are in Capricorn. And now Saturn has joined the, the, the Capricorn party. And we're looking at a lot of earth and water, a lot of feminine energy. Water is what makes us feel our emotions and our, the, the fluidity that we can operate in just like water and earth is what is stable and water can shape the face of the earth water does shape the face of the earth we are our bodies are made of so much water and we do come from the earth our own existence is very very feminine in nature and so the call is with this new moon in Capricorn with all those other energies we've got uh, Venus in Capricorn finishing but she's still there Pluto is in Capricorn black moon Lilith another very strong feminine energy that is in Capricorn uh, Mercury just moved into Capricorn a few days ago and then Saturn is in Capricorn that's a lot of Capricorn energy so the universe is saying pay attention pay attention to the foundation that you are building in your life. Now, another thing with Capricorn, 
okay, we're looking at structures, we're looking at what it is that we are building, I'm, we're looking at our goals and our achievements, where do I want to go? The other side of Capricorn, which I really appreciate, is also dedication and integrity. Dedication, integrity, maturity, and responsibility. Take those words, dedication, integrity, maturity, responsibility. So all those things that we associate with Capricorn, the structures, the goals, the future, where am I going, what am I building, is it based on integrity? Is it based on maturity? Is it based on responsibility? And do I have what it takes to dedicate myself to it? That is a very important question. Not just putting the goals on the list, but actually being honest with oneself, acting from a place of integrity and asking, do I have do I want to dedicate myself to this? And this is a very important question that we are being faced with. And with this new moon, it's an opportunity to bring newness into your life and into your goals and into the things that you want to achieve and accomplish and also into our relationships. That is very, very important. Venus is in Capricorn. Venus is in a pretty close conjunction to this new moon, two degrees away. And so within our relationships, is there integrity? Is there a level of mutual responsibility? Am I acting from a place that is mature? And am I dedicated to this relationship? Do I want to dedicate myself to this relationship? Do I want to dedicate myself to this project? Do I want to dedicate myself to this goal? Is this business partnership really feels in the highest integrity with where I want to go and what I want to accomplish? Is this romantic partnership is in the highest integrity with who I am right now, with where I want to go? With Capricorn, there is a look into the future. There's a reason why Capricorn comes before Aquarius. Aquarius is the future. And it's our highest future. It's not just kind of like, oh, this is what I'm going to do next week. It's really the highest, how we are going, going to ascend beyond just the normal or perhaps the box that we have put ourselves in. And so Capricorn coming before Aquarius is the structure that we need to build for ourselves. It's the foundation that we need to build for ourselves in order to ascend to that higher future and, and move into Aquarius. So we can look at if Capricorn is the mountain goat, like I said, climbing the mountain, we can look at Capricorn at, um, as the preparation, as the, the work that we need to do, again, like I said, the foundation that we need to build in order to climb that mountain. And the peak of that mountain, that, Aquari that is Aquarius. And so what needs to be done, what preparation internally and externally needs to happen in order to move into that higher future? What are the relationships that are good for that foundation, which are not? And then with it acting from a place of integrity with oneself, taking the action to clean what is not necessary. Are there any projects or business ties or even goals that you have that are out of integrity with who you are. Finding in your life what it is that is out of integrity and cleaning it up, that, that's the thing with Capricorn. The higher expression, the highest expression of Capricorn is integrity and being de dedicated to the goal. Now, what is the goal? So with Capricorn, things can be very external, just the external go goals. But what about the inner girl, uh, goals? What is success? I feel this new moon in Capricorn is really giving us the opportunity to redefine, redefine what is success, especially with Uranus going direct a week ago, redefining and reinventing for yourself what is success. Internally, do you feel happy? Do you feel at peace? Do you feel joyful? Do you feel successful within yourself that if you removed all 
those external accomplishments, do you f still feel successful within yourself? Do you still feel content? Do you feel that if the world were to end tomorrow, you would just go completely content because you feel this inner accomplishment, this inner success that it has nothing to do with external accomplishments. And don't get me wrong, whatever we do externally and our accomplishments and our, the goals that we do accomplish, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. However, the question to ask yourself is, if I remove all that, do I still feel that? Do I, am I able to generate that sense of, of contentment from deep within, even if I removed everything else aside? And this new moon is such a great way to look. It's such a great opportunity to look at the inner world and the outer world and redefine what is success. And then what do I want to accomplish within myself that will bring me a sense of success if I've accomplished something? Is it more peace? Is it more harmony? Is it more love for oneself? Is it more acceptance for oneself? And that is more of the feminine aspect. The other side of Capricorn, which is Cancer, the nurturing of oneself in order to feel secure because Capricorn is also security. It talks about external security though. And we want to do the things in the world that bring our security. That's where money issues come up. And with Venus attached to this new moon, money issues will come up. And where do I feel secure, where I don't feel secure, and why, and what do I need to do in order to bring about that security within and without? Big questions. On the 17th, Venus is going to move into Aquarius, and then on the 19th, the Sun is moving into Aquarius. And like I said, Capricorn comes before Aquarius, building the foundation to move us into a higher level, to help us ascend. So this is the time to build the foundation. This is the time to move from a place of integrity and maturity and responsibility, knowing that things that we do, the things that we say, and even the things that we think have consequences. So that's the responsibility that I'm talking about, the inner personal responsibility for the thoughts that you have, for the words that you say, for the feelings that you have towards something and someone, and then of course the actions that you take. And everything is up for that reviewing what is in integrity. Is it an integrity with what I want? If I want A but my thoughts are on B, there is a mismatch. And so the opportunity with this new moon is to bring those two into, into harmony, to not think B when I want A, but to think A because I want A, whatever your A is and whatever the B is. If you want to move higher, are your actions actually taking you lower? And then, okay, so what, how do I close the gap? That's Capricorn, and am I, how much am I dedicated, dedicated to what I really want. And then you do the things that show that dedication in your thoughts, in your words, in your actions. If there are relationships that are not moving you to the higher level, why are you in that relationship? If there's a project or a goal or something in your life that is not in alignment with, with that higher level, why are you still doing that? So all those things, you know, cleaning up, cleaning up. Capricorn likes to clean things up so it can be free to move forward. And then in Aquarius, we, again, that's the peak. That is the future. Where is your future? What is your future? What exactly does it look like? So take the steps. Do the things that you need to do. Maybe make a list. One side this is where I'm going on the other side this is this is what in my life not matching where I'm going and then you make your decision in integrity maturity responsibility and knowing that you have the dedication for yourself to move in that direction um, on the 24th you guys we're gonna have mercury conjuncting 
Pluto, which adds, and that's in Capricorn. So um, just a week after the new moon, Mercury meets Pluto. That is mega massive transformation to the structures of our mind to our perceptions. There's a, an opportunity for a lot of power to be gained, but only through the courageous, courageous act of making the right decisions, from the courageous act to really align our thoughts with our goals, with a courageous act to really change and transform whatever perceptions that we have about ourselves, and our, about our capabilities that don't match who we truly are and the power that we actually have. Mercury meaning Pluto, there's a lot of power there and a potential for an immense transformation of mind, of perceptions and decision-making process. And it's also a good opportunity for a very, very powerful transformational converse, conversations and exchanges with other people in relation, um, as it related to relationships that I already mentioned, next, the next couple of weeks is that opportunity to have the exchanges and the conversations that are in integrity. And let me be honest with you and let me be truthful with you and let me share how I feel because I want to act from integrity and what is what feels right for me, what doesn't feel right for me and what needs to happen as we move forward into the future. What needs to change? What is beneficial for this foundation? What is not beneficial for whatever foundation that you're building for yourself? Um, on the 26th, Mars is gonna move into Sagittarius. I'll talk more about that in the um, next report with a full moon that is gonna occur a few days after that. But with Mars and Sagittarius, boom, we're getting some more fire into the picture. And I was talking about courage. This is the courage. This is, again, another energy that is moving us into the future and looking into our horizons and really acting from a place of, um, of op optimism and faith. And I know what I want and I'm not afraid to explore even though it feels very different. That is the courage of Sagittarius and giving us that, that, that bigger, broader, optimistic perception and perspective about who we are and what is actually um, possible. Infinite possibilities with Sagittarius and for us to act from that knowing anything is possible, anything is possible. So build that foundation for yourself right now. Move into the future with the knowing that everything is possible. And if anything is possible, then what is possible for you and what it is that you want. And don't be afraid to go after it. Yes, yes. Really hope that this message has inspired you. And thank you so much for tuning in. If uh, you would like to know more about me and the work that I do in the world, if you'd like to have a reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, an astrology reading, and moving in even deeper into your own personal transformational healing journey, contact me on my website, noalakshmi.com. Personal readings and so much more. And if you would like to explore how to cultivate a more loving, and powerful relationship with yourself, then please check out the link below the book that I published back in August of 2017, Master Your Life with Love, showing you step one step at a time how to cultivate that relationship with yourself and transform your life from the inside out, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Check out the book, Master Your Life with Love. Please like this video and share it if you find this message to be inspiring for yourself and other people. It really helps to share the love and the information, so I truly appreciate that. And I'm sending you so much love and so much light on your journey here. Happy New Moon, and I will see you next time. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, and have a beautiful, beautiful week. Set now.